how to solve planarity questions in a level chemistry i am going to show you tips and tricks let's jump into it let's see what do you mean by the term planarity basically planarity mean how many atoms are lying in one plane how many atoms in a molecules they are lying in one plane it is said to be planarity if the all atoms are lying in one plane then that molecule is said to be planar molecule and if all atoms are not lying in one plane it is said to be non planar but in some cases if all atoms are not lying in one plane it means that some atoms 2 3 4 some atom may be are in one plane so i am going to show you how to check the planarity of a molecule as you know there are two type of molecules inorganic molecules and organic molecule first of all the planarity in inorganic molecule rules to check the planarity in inorganic molecule just have a look rule number 1 basically if the molecule is having only two atom if there is a diatomic molecule like cl2 h2 n2 and so on cl2 h2 n2 if the molecule is diatomic there is no need to apply any further rule it's a planar molecule it's a planar molecule if the molecule is having three atom in it i mean triatomic molecules are also planar molecule 2 plus 1 3 h2o 2 plus 1 3 co2 2 plus 1 3 so a molecule that is consist of three atom will be definitely planar there is no need to check or no need to apply further rule rule number 3 if the molecule is having more than 3 atoms here are three atoms here were two atoms if the molecule is having more than three atom then draw the lewis structure then count the total pair total pair around the central atom then count the total pairs around the central atom of the molecule if the total pair around the central atom is equal to 3 or less than 3 then this molecule will be planar molecule for example in case of so3 this is the structure displayed formula lewis diagram of so3 so how many pairs total pairs in fact three pairs double bond is equal to one pair so overall three pairs are surrounding over here it means that this molecule is a planar molecule same is the case with alcl3 alcl3 al is a cl 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 and there is no lone pair of electron in this aluminum same as the case there was no lone pair of electron around sulfur so how many pairs surrounding aluminum that is a central atom 3 so again this is also a planar molecule so these both molecule are said to be planar molecule right now come to the next one if the molecule is having more than 3 atoms and more than 3 bonds around the central atom if the atoms are exceeding than 3 and uh, if the bonds are more than 3 then here is the rule for that molecule again you will draw the structure lewis structure check the total pair of electrons surrounding the central atom let's suppose you can call it e e mean total number of electrons surrounding the central atom and then you will find the answer of e minus a a is basically atomicity or i mean atoms in a molecule so if your answer of e a is equal to positive then molecule will be planar if the answer of your e minus a total number of electron minus total number of atoms if the answer is equal to positive molecule is planar if the answer is negative or zero then molecule will be non planar i mean then all atoms will not be in single plane in one plane for example pcl5 here is a lewis diagram p cl5 so basically total 5 pairs are surrounding this phosphorus so e is equal to 5 how 
how many atoms are there a is the atomicity or number of atom in a molecule 5 plus 1 6 5 minus 6 so the answer is equal to minus minus 1 i mean it's in a negative integer so this molecule is non plane this molecule is non plane so this is the method to check the planarity in inorganic molecules now let's talk about organic molecules planarity in organic molecule basically here you know there are two type of compounds some are said to be open chain compound and some are said to be cyclic compounds are a ring compound open chain compounds to check the planarity in open chain compound the basically the basic theme is hybridization if the carbon basic main component of organic molecule is the carbon if the carbon is sp2 hybrid sp2 hybrid or if the carbon is sp hybrid then all bonds around it will be in a plane for example i'm going to write another example over here in this case this is ethene this carbon is sp2 carbon and because of this sp2 carbon it's making it's joining with these three atoms directly so these all are in a one plane including this carbon atom so all these atoms are in one plane same is the case over here this carbon is also sp2 carbon and in this case again one two three it's it's is connected by three bonds or it is making three bond directly so one two three and four these four atoms are in one plane so overall if we can uh, if we are going to check the overall molecule all atoms how many atoms are there six one two three four five and six and all are having ticks ticks mean they all are in plane to each other they all are lying in one plane to each other this uh, all atoms in this molecules are lying in one plane so this is a planar molecule if the compound is cyclic then the central atom check the central atom if the central atom is sp or sp2 for example this atom is sp2 hybrid this carbon i mean central carbon or central atom it is also sp2 hybrid so it's directly bonded atoms carbons or hydrogen yes they are lying in one plane but if the carbon that is not sp2 hybrid if it is sp3 hybrid let's suppose these green dots are showing the sp3 hybridization so it means that they are not lying in the same plane in sp3 hybridization all atoms cannot be in a one plane all atoms cannot be in a one plane once again in case of sp3 hybridization three atoms or two bonds can be in a one plane for example i'm going to write the example of ethane c2h6 ethane this one molecule these both carbons are sp3 hybrid carbons so around this carbon only two bond at a time you can choose only two bonds they may be in a same plane if these two bonds are in a same plane so one two three these consecutive member three atoms can be in a same plane same is the case for the other carbon as you have seen that it's a sp3 hybrid carbon and similarly it's two bond around this carbon you can take only two bonds any of the two bond uh, i mean for example this bond and this bond they are lying in the same plane so one two three so three atoms can be in a same plane in case of sp3 hybridization or two bonds can be in a same plane so at the moment in this case 
these hydrogens are not lying in the same plane as that of other hydrogen and carbon atom. So overall this molecule is said to be non-planar. This molecule is said to be non-planar molecule because all atoms are not lying in a same plane. Now in case of cyclic compound for example this is a cyclohexane and each carbon atom is again sp3 hybrid carbon so uh, again all bonds cannot be in a same plane in case of sp3 hybridization all bonds cannot be in a same plane moreover all carbon atoms are having two hydrogens with it and it's a cyclic structure each carbon atom is bonded with the two other carbon atoms so in this cyclic molecule not all atoms can be in a same plane just for a tip uh, you can recall this sentence that uh, in cyclic compound in cyclic structure or in cyclic compounds uh, not all carbons are in same plane so in cyclic compounds even these carbon cannot be in a same plane yes number one all atoms cannot be in a same plane it's true in addition to that if we are going to check just carbon atom then yes all carbon atom can also not in a same plane all carbons even carbons cannot be in a same plane so that was a quick review of the planarity thank you very much please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and share it with your friends thank you thank you very much have a nice day